that. Uh, Zia, thank you so much. Uh, it's been a while. Uh, we've always wanted to connect, always done it virtually. Thank you so much for having me here and you know meeting all these wonderful ladies. I am so inspired, so inspired to have heard Shabina Mustafa. Uh, I was looking forward to hear her story and learn so much from her. I think she's uh, she's covered it all in the uh, you know 20 minutes that she took. She covered everything. Uh, and I think we need to learn from her experience and so much when she was talking, you know, things like um, uh, starting school late to, you know, uh, learning to play sports and being the champion uh, in my school. I think so many things connect with people who are leaders. These are traits of leaders, right? So one of the things that I've noticed with women who are um, athletic and sporty uh, will always, would always love a challenge, always. So a show of hands here, ladies. Aap mein se koon aise hain jo sports karte hain, jo nune kiya hai bachpan mein sports. So yeah, I, I'm one of those. Shabina is one of those. Yeah, I could tell Zia was one of those, definitely, because I know her. Uh, so many of you see. So I think that is one of the traits of being a leader, because you you like to take on new challenges. And just nune kaha ki ji challenges jo hai na wo aapko uh, for me they flow the adrenaline. Adrenaline. Me agar koi challenge nahi aata to mujhe lagta hai yaar you know I mean life is a little sulky it's a little dull and so you know so that that is a that is one of the traits so definitely i don't think i have a lot to say i'll just add some introduction and then i i would really like to take this conversation forward with questions from you all and you know if you have any specific questions with us that would be really nice plus i also wanted to add ke shabina and mustafa ne badi tareef ki hamari ji women of wonder aap badi badi khawatin jo hai sari leaders and all that obviously she leads the show and we follow uh, but um, having said that, one thing is is very very important to say that appreciation goes a long way. So hearing it out from her makes a huge difference for all of us, I'm sure. Okay, so obviously learn to appreciate each other, uh, to support each other is very very important. So um, let me start with a little bit, uh, and I'll just try to wrap it up in five minutes. Uh, so uh, as you all know, my name is Shamim Rajani, and I have been associated with the technology domain. अच्छा मैं कोशिश करूँगी उर्दू में भी करूँ क्योंकि वो इससे पहले जो मेरी टॉक थी वहाँ पे लोग कहते कि जी उर्दू में नहीं आप लोग बात करते सारी बातें आप लोग अंग्रेजी में करते हैं और इतनी सारी खातन जो हैं ऐसी बात है पाकिस्तानी खातन है मर्द मर्द भी हैं सो लेट्स ट्राई टू डू इट कोशिश करते हैं कि उर्दू में करें जंप कर जाते हैं वापस से तो मैं जो है पिछले बीस साल से टेक्नोलॉजी से एसोसिएटेड हूँ कुछ Yeah, so around 20 years ago, I started. I finished my diploma in computer science. I graduated, and then uske baad maine jo hai apne abba ke saath join kiya. We started a training institute. So we started consultancy and training in technology. Uh, this was back in 1998. Ye humne kam kiya kuch eight se nine saal, jahan pe humne jo hai on social grounds humne underprivileged youth ko training di technology mein. Then in 2004, I started my own company, uh, a software development company, um, and I think I, I I think that after Jahanara, I was the first one to do that, uh, and it's called Genetic Solutions, and it's been um, so Genetic is now 16 years mature to the market. We have around 60, uh, around 80 people in the company, and we hum bahut saara kam karte hain. See, I keep jumping from English to like I, I keep telling myself to come back. Uh, तो हम बहुत सारा काम करते हैं यूएस के साथ uh, हमारा सबसे बड़ा मार्केट जो कस्टमर फुटप्रिंट है वो यूएस है उसके बाद हम काम करते हैं यूरोप के साथ और हम कुछ काम करते हैं बिट्स एंड पीसेस विद कनाडा एंड सम विद ऑस्ट्रेलिया और कुछ काम हम पाकिस्तान में uh, बहुत लेटली करते हैं विद सम रियली गुड स्टार्टअप्स तो दैट इज दैट इज माई कमर्शल साइड दैट्स माई ब्रेड एंड बटर सो दैट इज द कमर्शल एस्पेक्ट ऑफ वाई एम Uh, उसके बाद जो है आई एम ऑल्सो एसोसिएटेड विद फ्यू अदर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन जैसे कि अभी बताया uh, uh, किरण ने कि uh, मैं कोड गर्ल्स की भी फाउंडर हूँ कोड गर्ल्स का जो प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट है तो सो वेन एवर यू स्टार्ट समथिंग यू हैव अ प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट ये था कि इंडस्ट्री में हमें जो है डाइवर्सिटी uh, नहीं मिलती खातन नहीं मिलती सो so, और खातन ना मिलने का ये रीज़न नहीं है कि वो वो कर नहीं सकती या आ, या एकेडेमिया में नहीं मैं एकेडेमिया में इफ़ यू गो टू एकेडेमिया यू फाइन अ फिफ्टी फिफ्टी मैच राइट लेकिन इंडस्ट्री में आते हैं तो जो टेन परसेंट भी नहीं मिलती है आपको तो क्यों नहीं मिलती सो वेन वी ट्राई टू डिग डीप इन टू दैट वी लर्न दैट इट हैड मोर टू डू विद देयर कॉन्फिडेंस एंड देयर देयर एबिलिटी टू थिंक दैट वी कैन डू इट मोर देन द फैक्ट दैट उनको लगता है कि जी हमारी मैथ अच्छी नहीं है या हम कोडिंग नहीं कर सकते दैट वॉज इन दिगर दैट वॉज इन देयर हेड्स 
but it wasn't the, the problem, right? So we need to get, get that fixed. So we started Code Girls ka program where we take girls. So we, we, we bring on board all sorts of girls. You don't have to have coding skills. You can have good math skills and be part of the program. वहाँ पे हम आपको coding भी सिखाते हैं और साथ में आपकी known coding skills, for example your entrepreneurship skills, your financial literacy skills, आपकी जो है वो uh, confidence building, your वो, the 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 bug in your head which is the imposter syndrome, I cannot do it unless I'm 110% sure. We try to we try to crush that bug. We're not 100% always um, you know, uh, able to do it, but slow So that happens. Uh, so what we did in the last two years, two and a half years is that we trained some 500 more children in four months track. So after that, some 200 children have gone advanced track. And in those 200 children, at this time, around 100 placements in industry have been done. Which is why, which has brought my own company's uh, diversity ratio from a uh, 10% to a 30% right now. Or बहुत सारी companies uh, technology में अगर आप जानते हैं तो systems हो गया, आपका uh, पाशा हो गया, आपका rapid compute हो गया, contour हो गया, temples हो गया. बहुत सारी companies जो हैं वो ये बच्चे hire करती ना सिर्फ पाकिस्तान में, बल्कि इनको opportunities opportunities पाकिस्तान से बाहर भी मिलती हैं. So around 20% of our girls are actually working with uh, with employers from outside of Pakistan, which is the US, Dubai, Canada. So that is that is the uh, other organization. Apart from that, I'm also associated with Women in Tech PK, uh, which is um, a community of uh, uh, women technologists, Pakistani women technologists from all over the world. And uh, um, uh, so this is, um, it is, I think, three years mature to the market right now. Something very similar to what Zia is doing, but Zia is doing it in a, uh, in a more generalized fashion. We are, uh, you know, targeting on technology, uh, uh, on the technology domain only. We, we basically train them, we help them, we, we coach them, we help them find good mentors, good jobs, and also we allow them to rank. That is the other platform. A uh, platform which I'm associated with two years is Pakistan Software Houses Association, Pasha. So I am uh, on, the, on, the, on the board of Pasha. I sit on the CEC, which is the Central Executive Committee at Pasha. And uh, uh, this year, I'm also the vice, vice chairperson at Pasha. What is Pasha? Pasha is the only and the biggest trade association of soccer houses in Pakistan. Uh, and I also chair two of their subcommittees, which is one is diversity and the other is um, skill development because obviously you made areas of interest. Um, so yeah, in a nutshell, I, th I think that's enough. Uh, so that's the that I am primarily a medical student. Uh, so medicine was what I wanted to do and uh, I couldn't do it. Uh, so I had to, so I, I went, uh, I was going to go to med school at AKUH, I a test for everything. And then, you know, I got married and I couldn't pursue it. And then, uh, then I tried again after a year and then uh, I got pregnant and I couldn't pursue it again. So I thought I just have to drop it. Like when my daughter was four years old, um, uh, there was this uh, one fine day I was reading the papers or well, there was an opportunity to do a diploma in computer science. Computer and I was like, okay, this is close to home. I, can, I, I think I can manage the time. Let's do this. And that's how it started. And when I went into computers, um, uh, the only reason I went is because I'm an opportunist and I, I wanted to get out of the house. I wanted to learn something. So, you know, I was a very reader's digest person and doing all uh, SATs or I just I had to basically grab on, grab on to some knowledge every day. So I did a diploma, kiya, but when I actually was doing this diploma, I realized that I was a very good coder. I, I, I liked logic building. I, li I had analytical skills. So I had a lot of fun. But then there wasn't a roadmap. There was no roadmap. So what to do I didn't know what to do. But then, you know, one thing after another, um, uh, remember the keyword opportunist. I'm a very big opportunist. So when I finished my diploma, my dad got a golden handshake from uh, the bank. Uzamane me golden handshakes. So to unke paas kuch 20, 30 lakh rupees aage. Galeng iska kya karu me? Let's put it in education. Let's put it in technology training. You just finished your diploma. Would you do this with me? I said okay. I was like, there, abhi foreign. Let's do this. And we started that. And uh, then nine years, humne extensively ye kia. Uh, to the point that we opened four locations in Karachi uh, and we were training 800 students per day. 
Uh, so initially I was a trainer and then I was basically, tra uh, you know, training the trainers only. So looking after those uh, 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 institutions and then training the trainers. So we almost uh, trained around uh, uh, less than 10,000 students in um, the, the nine year span that we did. See, I say a core opportunity. I one fine day, I got an email from, and I think I've put it out so many times. Uh, in 2004, I got an email um, from an Austin Walter in UK. He said, I want to get a website built. Uh, would you do it for me? Now, I, 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 I used to teach website development at that point, but I never thought that, you know, I could make it a, a profit, uh, uh, you know, a revenue generating model. So I said, okay, let's try this out. I said, yes, okay, I'll make it. Will you pay me $100? And he said, yes. And he sent the $100 and I built the website for him. And that is the day Genetic Solutions was born out of Confinet Corporation. So yeah, this is the underlying story. And then from that, um, you know, that moment today, we have 80 people team and we work for all around the world. Uh, the key point, the key takeaway, if some of you can grab it is that Austin is still my customer. 16 years down the line, Austin is still my customer. That is, you have to see when a good opportunity is out there, right? So ye bahut important agile home and then when you think something out there is good for you you don't have to be 100 percent sure you don't because if you are 110 percent sure you are never going to be able to do it you're going to be right or you're going to be wrong right learn from your successes learn more from your failures बहुत अच्छी बात है ये मुझे जब जब मैं आपके जितनी थी ना तो मुझे समझ नहीं आता था कि क्या कहते हैं लोग फेलियर से कौन सीखता है but I think today where I am I have learned so much more from my failures than from my successes ठीक है however one thing that is very important is to have ownership ownership जरूर होनी चाहिए अगर आपने कोई चीज की है और वो गलत हो गई है be the first one to say कि हाँ ये मैंने किया था गलत हो गया but if it's okay, be the first one to say that yes, I did it, it's okay. So also take that credit. Don't let anybody else take that credit for it. It's not so humble. Okay? Because especially the technology domain, it's very male dominated. So if you have so humble, so the other day I and Pfizer were talking and they said, what are you doing in Pasha? So I was telling her, yeah, 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 yeah. And she was like, and how much of this do does everybody on the CEC know? I said, nah, not a lot of people know. And she said, okay, so when, when are you leaving the CEC? I was like, yeah, in a year. So it's like, when you are leaving, we are writing a report on this because the amount of work that you are doing, three men cannot do. So this has to be documented that you did this. And it's important to have, so, so, you know, ownership of credit, take credit and take ownership of your mistakes plus so you see Zia, you see myself, you see uh, Shabina, Mustafa, you see Pfizer, Yusuf, you see so many women. We support each other. This is very important. This idea in my mind is that I have to write a report. I have to write a report. I have Why I am here today is not because I, I, I thought this was important to me. Because Zia thought it was important for me to be here for, for others to know me. So it is important to have this clan also. So yeah. Yeah, that, that's it, I guess. Anything else? Any other questions? Any question, thank you. Um, I think um, challenges are there, you're right. And one of the reasons that we are all here is because we, we know and we love challenges. And we um, the, they make us stronger and we come out of them and of them stronger as well. So like Shabina Mustafa initially said, the challenges, though, you know, they flow uh, the energy into you. Uh, one of the things that every woman um, in um, especially non-traditional fields, like you said, Zia, every woman needs to prove themselves for as long as they're there. I don't know. I'm proving myself, you know. So uh, when I'm sitting on the CEC, uh, on, on the table in the boardroom, uh, you have to prove yourself, man. You have to really prove yourself uh, uh, to them. And uh, so, and then, then everybody has a different way to do it but you ha still have to do it. Um, I run my company. Uh, I started as a single woman, but I, I also have partners now. So my dad is my partner and my eldest brother is my partner. So two men, partners, both elder to me and both family. So you see where I'm headed? <laughs> so it is, it is, it is a, it is a um, war zone every day, right? So where you have to listen to them. And then I'm also, the way I'm built is like I said, you know, I'm, I'm very instinctive. 
तो मैं मुझे नजर आती ना अपॉर्चुनिटी तो मैं कहती हूँ यार मैं पूछने नहीं जा रही किसी को मैंने ये करना है सो आई डू इट एंड देन आई गो बैक टू द टेबल एंड आई टेल दिस एंड लाइक वर्ट यू नेवर आस्टर्स that's how i started coat girls one fine day on a phone call right there was an opportunity right there unhone kaha ki ji i read your interview and you know aapne so the way that you have come out of it and being from a non coding uh, non technical background how did you do this we want can you train 100 women to do this and i said i can do you have the money and he said yes i have the money for 100 girls i said okay fine let's do this let's start it in two months put the phone down next call i pick up i call faiza yusuf i tell her listen i can do the operation and i was in seattle at that point i wasn't even in pakistan i didn't even call my partners not my dad not my brother i knew i could do the operations i knew i could do the training what i could not do was networking and getting 100 girls in to wo uske liye maine faiza ko call kiya main kaha yaar tumhara 2021 ka agenda nahi tha kuch ladkiyon ki training she was like ha huh? nahi not 2021 sorry this was this was in 20 2018 right so i told her 2019 ka agenda nahi tha ladkiyon ki training she was like yes i was like do you want to do it this year she was like yes i said like do you want to do it tomorrow she was like yes i said okay send me a brochure i need to get locked this deal we need to sign this contract that's how i did it ab aap sochein jab main pakistan aapis aayi hu main apne abba aur apne bhai ko bata rahi hu and they're looking at me uh, what main pata hai wo she just signed up i said yeah and i'm going to do so i had to prove myself so is there a challenge out there so there was one challenge that i would particularly like to talk about right now 2016 2016 i remember explicitly uh, we lost one of our biggest customers which was one third of the company's revenue um, and at that time we took a dip you know niche bilkul uh, so my dad and my brother are both from um, they're not entrepreneurs they're not business oriented wo sath dono job my dad is a, is an ex banker and my eldest brother he had just joined us he was a chief architect in IBM in USA Minnesota he had just joined us 2 years ago unhone dekha ki ji dip aa gaya aur ab to you know we are not making anything balki jeb se ja raha hai to unhone jo hai wo kaha ki yaar isko band karte hain company ko band karte hain aur jo hai wo वैसे भी हमें कोई इतनी कोई खास पैसों की जरूरत तो है नहीं सो आई कैन डू अ जॉब माय डैड वो लाइक मुझे कोई मसला तुम्हें तो वैसे कोई मसला नहीं है तो खैर है एंड आई एम जस्ट लुकिंग एट देम एंड आई एम लाइक सीरियसली समथिंग दैट आई बिल्ड 12 इयर्स आई गिव 12 इयर्स ऑफ माय लाइफ एंड आई डिड इट फ्रॉम स्क्रैच एंड दिस इज व्हाट यू हैव टू से फॉर इट कि जिसको बंद कर देते हैं आई सेड जी ठीक है आपने नहीं करना ना आप ना करें ठीक है मैं आपको मुझे छः महीने दे दें छः महीने में अगर मैं कंपनी वापस लेके नहीं आई और ये आपका रेवेन्यू वापस लेके नहीं आई तो फिर आप कंपनी बंद कर दीजिएगा दैट ईयर फ्रॉम 2016 टू 2017 आई थिंक आई लॉस्ट अ लॉट ऑफ वेट आई पुट सो मेनी नाइट्स इनटू इट आई चेंज माय स्ट्रेटजी आई आई यू नो बेसिकली रीच आउट टू सो मेनी पीपल एंड आल्सो चेंज्ड माय द वे आई डिड आउटरीच सो आई आई मैं बहुत ही ना बिहाइंड द डेस्क बंदी होती थी i i hated to get out and meet people and it was working out for me so, but at that point i changed that strategy i went out and started meeting people not just locally but also globally ek saal mein main company ko wapas wahan le aayi 2017 mein jahan pe humne 2016 mein usko choda tha yeah and my dad and my brother they came back to the table and they said you know yeah ab to theek hai ab to ye i sat them down and i said listen you wanted to close this company a year ago and you both you basically you know put your hands the hands up ke ji ab kuch nahi ho sakta ye main wapas leke aayi hu but if this happens again and if this if you do this again then we have to you know sort of like sit down and separate ways because this is not how it's going to be this is my baby and listen until i find a, the right exit for it a proper exit that gives me the the money worth of my time this is not how i'm going to close it one fine day aur dusri baat hai mere liye sabse important ye hota hai ki jo log meri company se associated hai jo mere employee hai wo meri team hai wo mere colleagues hai they, my human resource is the most important aspect of my company for any technology company chahe wo aapse kuch bhi kahe jab wo service oriented hai uska sabse important asset uska human resource hai ठीक है, so, इतनी अच्छी टीम आई वॉज लाइक हाउ कैन आई जस्ट टेल देम के जी तीन महीने के पैसे नहीं हो घर जाए खत्म हो गई बात ये तो नहीं हो सकता 
so that was i think one of the challenges and i learned a lot from that from that challenge uh, the, the biggest thing that i learned was to get out from behind the desk and uh, uh, be a fighter i guess come out of their bubble women need to come out of their secure zones they have to come there ye bahut important hai ye ye pehla hai jab tak wo step out karke wahan nahi aati hum kuch nahi karte hum kehte hain ji ye aapne khud karna hai it is important it is it is the first lesson in the whole plan that we have for them that they need to come out of their bubble ya glass box main usse kehti hu apne liye jo bana ke rakho usme bahar nikle aur wahan pe aye fir hum aapko train karte hain one of the underlying problem statements that are that really touched my heart and which is why we also did code girls is that bahut saari ladkiyan zyada tar ladkiyan jo hai na ye yahi karte hain silai karai beauty parlor and you know that sort of stuff bank mein chali gayi school padha liya theek hai Uh, why is that a problem? That is not a huge problem. For my, the problem is that their growth trajectory is just that they stop. Okay, so when we say that we want to make financial equalizers, we can't do it. Because there is no growth trajectory in their growth. No, there is no growth trajectory. Technology is the only uh, vertical that I know of that has a growth trajectory. There is no ceiling to it, right? And it doesn't see men to women. आप अगर वहां घुस गए एक दफा तो आप जो है सो दीज गर्ल्स दैट वी पुश इनटू द इंडस्ट्री आफ्टर एट मंथ्स ऑफ ट्रेनिंग इनकी जो स्टार्टिंग सैलरी है वो 20 से 25000 की होती है एंड सम ऑफ दीज गर्ल्स आर एक्चुअली स्टार्टेड ऑफ एट 40000 और ये स्टार्टिंग सैलरी की बात करूं एंड देन देयर इज नो एंड टू इट राइट डिपेंडिंग ऑन आप कितने अच्छे हो जाते हैं देयर इज नो एंड टू इट सो ये बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है जिससे शबीना मुस्तफा ने कहा कि इनको यहां से निकालें इनको निकाल के ना टेक्नोलॉजी में लेके जाएं बहुत सारे लोगों के लिए बुरा था बट कोविड जो है वो डायवर्सिटी के लिए बहुत अच्छा था सो यू नो इफ यू इफ यू इफ यू सी व्हाट आई एम सेइंग बिकॉज़ वर्क फ्रॉम होम इज नाउ बिकम अ नॉर्म सो अब जो है uh, जो मर्द हजरात कहते हैं कि जी खातिन कम्यूट नहीं कर सकती उन्हें नहीं फर्क पड़ता कि आप घर बैठ के काम करें अब उन्हें खातिन को हायर करने में मसला नहीं होता वो कहते हैं यार घर बैठ के मर्दों से अच्छा काम कर लेती हैं बिकॉज ज्यादा लॉयल है ज्यादा ऑर्गेनाइज है ज्यादा हार्ड वर्किंग है ठीक है प्लस जिसे हम कहते हैं ना जियो फेंसिंग सो नाउ आई डोंट हैव टू हायर एनी बडी फ्रॉम कराची सो तो मैं डायवर्सिटी की बात करती हूँ तो सिर्फ डायवर्सिटी इज नॉट इन टर्म्स ऑफ जेंडर डायवर्सिटी डायवर्सिटी इज इन टर्म्स ऑफ माइनॉरिटीज एथनिसिटीज Uh, transgender, uh, especially abled people, ये ये सब diverse है तो अब जो है अगर मुझे हैदराबाद से या मुल्तान से या कहीं से किसी को hire करना है तो अब मुझे problem नहीं आएगी because उसके उसको उड़ के यहाँ पर नहीं आना उसको वहीं से बैठ के काम करना है सो एक्चुअली दिस हेज एक्चुअली हेल्प कोविड इज एक्चुअली हेल्प टू इम्प्रूव डाइवर्सिटी ओवरऑल इन पाकिस्तान एंड अराउंड द वर्ल्ड एज वर्ल्ड वर आई ऑब्जर्व इन इन वर आई इन इन माई एक्सपीरियंस इज नो नॉट 70% of the women are not that lucky if i if i may, may pick a just number from the air 70% of the women are not that lucky they uh, come from a background jahan pe jo hai wo unko pull back aata hai so which is why jab hum kehte hain na ki ji khawateen need women support system and they need to be told that you are the best from the support system the, the reason we have platforms like wow pk and we have platforms like women in tech and other platforms to become a support system for women who are not getting that kind of support from family and friend and also from their organization so you are the lucky one ki aap siemens mein kaam karti wahan pe diversity ratio itna acha hai technology domain mein diversity ratio jo average hai wo 10% hai if not below theek hai so one of the biggest companies agar hum uthate hain to unka diversity ratio 25 se 27% hota hai jisme se agar aap ye kahe ki ji women in top tier positions kaun si hain aap ungliyon pe gin sakte hain itni kam hai theek hai so uh, it's it's a little different across different verticals so uh, i totally agree that where you come from or, or uh, and and uh, and the organization in energy that you are and in siemens especially jaise abhi aapne kaha ki ji प्राइवेट सेक्टर में तो ये हाल है पब्लिक सेक्टर में ये हाल गवर्नमेंट सेक्टर में ये हाल नहीं है यू नो यू विश इट वाज बेटर देयर सो सिमिलरली इट आल्सो डिपेंड्स ऑन व्हाट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन यू यू आर एंड हाउ योर अपब्रिंगिंग वाज एंड व्हाट फैमिली यू बिलोंग टू ये जो सो यू आर दैट क्रीम जिसको वो मिला एंड सम ऑफ अस आर दैट बट मोस्ट ऑफ अस मोस्ट ऑफ द वुमेन इन 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 आवर सोसाइटी दे डोंट गेट दैट क्वेश्चन